The Oshkosh Police Department, under the direction of Chief Harry Gunther, instituted a traffic and pedestrian safety program in September of 1958. This film is titled The Oshkosh Safety Story and will give to the viewers a brief look at some of our educational safety promotional work. Meet Mrs. J. Bird, Mr. J. Bird, and the 14 people involved in pedestrian accidents for the first eight months of 1958 and our educational programs in the city schools. Some of our slogans read, Obey the light, be alive tonight. Don't be a jaybird, wait on the curb. Leave your blood at the Red Cross, not in the street. Seconds won't break your schedule, an accident will. Here in our first part, we see Mrs. Jaybird along with city manager Hans Thorgrimson as they start the kickoff on our program here in the city of Oshkosh. Please notice those signs, obey the lights, and be alive tonight. busy intersection, and the officer steps out to give him a reprimand for his action of walking against the light, and he also receives a pedestrian summons for his infringement of the law and his disregard for safe walking habits, and with a caution to his particular actions, he is sent on his way. Here we see members of the Youth Council composed of students from the high school and junior high schools of the city of Oshkosh. They represent the 14 people involved in pedestrian accidents the first 11 months of 1958. One has a sign on which reads, Will you be number 15? Here is a group of children being taught about the policeman and his duty. He explains to them about his badge, his handcuffs and gun, all standard police equipment. The little history that is behind them. For example, the badge that dates back to approximately 1215 to the signing of the Magna Carta by King John. He passes this out for viewing among the youngsters so that they may get a closer look at what a policeman's badge is. Also a chance to view the handcuffs, and lastly, of course, the weapon. And a return to the safe place, the holster. Here we see another group of youngsters coming out of school for a practice safety drill. Here they learn the correct method to leave the building in an orderly manner, and the correct way to cross the street, going to and from school, walking and practicing safety at all times. Here come our future movie stars. They have a beautiful summer day for their particular lesson and they are deeply absorbed by what the teacher has to tell them at this particular time. Here is another group about to leave their school with their little red traffic signs to learn their part about safety. The two safety monitors walk out to the center of the street, standing opposite one another with the children passing between. They are under the supervision of their teacher to learn about safety. They are met on the corner by the officer, and the children all assemble in a group to hear what he has to say and show them about safety. Here he points and gestures to the sign to give them the understanding that this is what the motorist is expected to stop for and will be looking for youngsters at the corner and not at mid-block. Here we also have an opportunity to view the flashing red light, which you can see in the left of the picture. The officer tells them of the importance of their obeying safety rules and again about first looking in one direction and then the other and not to forget to look behind them 
for cars that might be making a turning movement at the time. Here the two little monitors go out into the street with their signs that they have stopped printed upon them. The youngsters pass between the signs and finally the group assemble on the far side of the street. Here they learn about the clocking mechanism that operates the blinking red light at the stop sign. Also, they have an opportunity to see the officer making a call into the police station on the police telegraph system and learning a little more about the police officer and his duties. Here we see Mr. J. Bird again in prominence on our city streets. He is displaying the various signs and slogans that were mentioned previously, and he is doing everything a pedestrian shouldn't do. For example, he is walking down the center of the street, not staying between those white marked crosswalk lines that were put there for the express purpose of the pedestrians to walk between. Walking against the lights, crossing at mid-block, are practices that a lot of people engage in every day without a second thought as to what it could cost them in bodily injury, loss of life, worth to the community, and what it would mean to loved ones and his family. It may look a bit ridiculous here, but it's merely to stress the point, to show there are a lot of people with utter disregard for the vehicles, traffic lights, and who walk and promenade on our city streets without a second thought as to their own safety or what inconveniences it may cause others by their unwarranted actions. He really looks like a confused individual standing there, doesn't he? And here we have the lieutenant from the Youth Aid Bureau, about to install the safety patrol members at the Reed School. This took place one evening in the presence of the Parent Teachers Association, and these youngsters repeated the patrol member's pledge. Here it is as follows. I pledge myself to report for duty on time, perform my duties faithfully, strive to prevent accidents, always setting a good example myself, obey my teachers and officers of the patrol, report dangerous practices of students, strive to earn the respect of fellow students. This pledge they repeat after the lieutenant and it is then their duty to care for the youngsters on the various school crossings and intersections, to help them across the streets in all kinds of weather, with the rain, cold, snow, or whatever the conditions may be. It's also noteworthy to mention at this time that on any corner where a patrol member has been present, we have never had a fatality take place. After this installation ceremony, the parents in attendance, as you can see, are quite proud along with the police department for the fine job these youngsters do, and they receive a hearty hand. In a day or so, these youngsters will go out to perform their duties on their respective corners, guiding smaller footsteps to safety. Here we have a young group of patrol members at the Lincoln School about to go to a busy intersection to help some of their schoolmates across the street. You'll notice the traffic light in the background that the youngsters never work against this light and only walk with it.
and the Lady Patrol, Crossing Guard, are placed at busy intersections throughout the city. They help the youngsters across the street only when it is safe and prudent to do so, by the display of their belts and badges. It alone is a sign to the motorists that school children are present and that patrols are present to help them across the street. Just another reminder. And here we have Mrs. Jaybird. And you note the traffic tie-up that she's caused by her actions at the main intersection of 6th and Oregon. Here she's walking in a typical, untypical, pedestrian fashion by jaywalking across the intersection. All of these are practices which the good pedestrian should never engage in at any time. Because due to this thoughtless action, as we mentioned, the bodily injuries and all that can take place, it is only through the three E's of education, enforcement, and engineering. We've tried to educate the people through our programs, and we're trying to enforce through our laws. The engineering has placed the marks on the sidewalks and streets for the crossing not mid-block crossing like Mrs. Jaybird was trying to do there. Now, keep an eye out for her actions here as she walks against the light. You can see the light in the background there, and very shortly it will change to a go light, and she'll be, as usual, in the wrong place. Here again are members of the Oshkosh Youth Council, composed of students themselves. They are decked out with the various bandages and injuries that took place in the 14 pedestrians who were injured in the city of Oshkosh this last year. Some of these are head injuries, arm injuries, or various body injuries that took place. Each one is enumerated by a number, each of them displaying the different type of injury that took place to the various pedestrians that were hurt as a result of not paying attention to the safety rules. Here the members distribute pedestrian literature on the safe rules of walking. Here is an officer with Tommy and Judy as they are met by Police Chief Harry Gunther about to embark on a safety lesson. And here in the proximity of the Washington School at a school crossing light, the officer is instructing them as to what the signs do mean and to the proper usage of the light. Here they arrive at the corner, and he shows them that by pushing the light, they change it from a flashing amber to a red, so as to stop the cars, and then when it is safe, to walk across the street between the marked white lines. And here they were receiving another little story and instruction about the stop sign, its significance to the motorist and what it means to the youngsters. And you'll notice here that they nod their head in firm agreement that they do understand. Here they are at another busy intersection located at Bowen and Irving. The officer tells them about the flashing red light and that it is there along with the stop sign to warn the motorist of the intersection and to be on the lookout for people that may be crossing the street such as themselves.
and here they receive a little further lesson, and that is, as they walk out to the edge of the curve, to be on the lookout for cars that are making turning movements. Watch it there, Tommy and Judy. See, that is something to watch for. Did you know it? Here they are on the main street of our city of Oshkosh at a pedestrian crossing area that has recently been designated in mid-block of the business district. Diamond-shaped signs signify that it is a pedestrian crossing and that flashing amber lights are there to help the motorist to become aware of its presence and to be on the lookout for people crossing the street. Here the officer guides the two youngsters to this curb and explains the significance of the two white lines and the importance of walking between them. And here he helps to stop the traffic as the two youngsters come ahead at his motion and they walk safely across. So you see they are taught where and when to walk and it's up to the parents and all of us to try and keep this safety lesson in mind. Here they are at a stop and go light at one of our busy intersections and as the officer explains its function to them and the importance of watching for the light and walking with the green, they receive another important lesson in safety. Now Tommy and Judy wave goodbye and as they leave we hope they have learned a lesson about safety in the safety story. Let's all of us keep faith with them by practicing what they have been taught.